Hey everyone, I'm Tim Balsey for weather.com. Well, after a very stormy and deadly month of April, we've now transitioned into the month of May. So far, so good. Aside from the ongoing record river flooding over parts of the Mississippi and, river, and Ohio River Valley, we've actually transitioned to a nice, quieter, and more tranquil time period right now. But as we peek into the second week of May, we are seeing some signs of change. So let's take a look and talk about those, uh, those changes that are about to come. First off, this is where we're at right now. We've had high pressure uh, dominate over much of the eastern third of the country. That high pressure has brought in a, a more stable, cooler, and drier air mass. This is how dry we're talking about, two dew points in the 30s and 40s. When you have low dew points, you cannot have severe weather. And that's where we're at right now, and that's very good news. But that's going to change, and I'll show you um, how in the, uh, shortly. Meanwhile, the overall pattern change is this. We have a trough that's going to start to build over the west and a ridge that's going to start over, uh, build over the east. So it's your classic trough ridge pattern. Underneath the ridge, warmer temperatures. Underneath the trough, cooler and unsettled conditions. Uh, this trough also is an instigator for severe weather. Dew points are also going to make a return. Dew points are uh, right now, as you saw, 30s and 40s, but soon will be in the 60s and 70s. And those 60s and 70 values are signified by dew points in the yellows and oranges. And you can see there, they start to build and build over the coming days. This is a computer weather model that looks ahead into the coming days. You can see eventually all that gulf moisture is going to start to creep back up. Meanwhile, we have a dry line here that separates the warmth and the humidity from the very dry conditions across the desert southwest and west Texas. This dry line combined with these upper level disturbances that come out of this, that eject out of this trough, all work together to create severe weather. So as you can see, I push this ahead and these yellows and uh, greens and even some oranges start to come out of the base of the trough and eject into parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. And as they do, they work with the dry line at the surface to create severe weather. And this is what the Storm Prediction Center out of Norma, Oklahoma has predicted. So for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we're going to be seeing that dry line start to activate and trigger supercell thunderstorms that contain some big hail, perhaps even a few tornadoes over parts of North Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Remember, you can always check to see what the, your Torcon is at weather.com slash Torcon, and Dr. Forbes will update that in the coming days. Meanwhile, we talked about the ridge. What does that ridge mean? It means warmth, especially as we head into the spring and summertime months. And we're going to be seeing temperatures really start to climb and climb some more. We're talking about 90s and 100s across parts of Texas, and the 80s start to make a return across the south. And not only 80s, but also 90s. In fact, so warm that we might be seeing some 90s um, for some locations for the first time this year. We'll also be seeing many, many locations, probably more than around two dozen places that are going to flirt with record highs over the as we head into early to next uh, mid portion of next week. So that's your two factors. You're talking about severe weather in parts of the southern plains and central plains, and also very warm near record heat across parts of mid south and the south. We're gonna have a lot more as we head into the weekend and early next week here at weather.com and the Weather Channel. So stay tuned. For now, I'm Tim Ballastie for weather.com. Thanks.